Hi, welcome back to The Distressed Princess. Here are the DIYs I'm working on today. I wanted a new little outdoor table for my back deck and the Dollar Tree had all the supplies I needed. I bought two of the square planters and I already had this plate charger that I've had laying around. It was done a previous DIY that I didn't like how it turned out, but I'm going to use it to make my table. The Dollar Tree always has plenty of these chargers. The first step is to glue the two square planters together. The bottoms are going to be glued together and I'm using the Dollar Tree Super Glue Fix All Adhesive and hot glue for the immediate hold. Then stack the two planters and hold in place for a good bit until you're sure that your planters are very well stuck together. So as you saw, my charger plate was already painted and this is the original video of how I did that. Now you can of course pick your choice of colors for your whole planter and your charger, but since my planter is going to be white, my charger plate is white and this is the technique I used in that video where I wiped the dried paint back off with a wet paper towel and it gave a really cool weathered wood look. Then I used the super glue fix all around the top edge of the planter to hold the charger in place and once I put the charger on top, then I'll go back and hot glue where I see the charger is actually touching the square planter. So here's an underneath shot of where I'm putting hot glue where that plate or charger is coming in contact with the planter. Now I'm going to cover the whole thing with my Rust-Oleum chalked in linen white and that includes the underside of the charger and the top side of the charger as well because even though I liked the paint technique that's on the charger, I like I said before, I had used this in a previous DIY and it had some gold design on it that didn't want to take very well and so I'm going to cover up that gold design on the top of my charger and also you could just as easily take this outside and spray paint it and the color choices are of the rainbow whatever you like and if you didn't notice him back there before piper was doing his duties just chilling on the couch today the next thing i did was do some distressing with my gray chalk paint and I did this using the Dollar Tree stipple brush. I think it's called a stipple brush. I'm not sure. That jaggedy, chippy looking brush. <laughs> and I dipped just the smallest amount of paint on that brush and wiped the majority of it back off and lightly went over the whole planter. Now, if you didn't use spray paint, you'll probably want to go over your whole planter with some polyacrylic or some kind of a sealant. And here is my little outdoor table just waiting to be decorated. And the first decoration I'm making 
is going to be using one of these LED outdoor lights from the Dollar Tree. I was so happy to have found these and they have the silver color and they have a gold color. And I'm going to pair this light with one of the tall cylinder vases and the light is going to fit perfectly down on top just like this. And so the first thing is to take that sticky label off of the back, which I used my Dollar Tree scraper and some Goo Gone for the residue. And whenever I use the Goo Gone, I always wipe my item back off so that it doesn't have the oiliness because there is citrus oil in the Goo Gone and it makes your, uh, your project oily. And to give this plain vase some interest, I'm using some of the white rocks from the Dollar Tree to sprinkle down in the bottom. And I didn't use very many. It was just whatever I had left over from other projects. And it covered maybe an inch at the bottom of the vase. And what else should go inside the vase? But a nice chunky little succulent. And this one came from the Dollar Tree. I plucked it right out of its little fake vase and I stuck it right down in the center of our glass face. Now I'm switching gears and I'm using E6000 to adhere the light to the glass vase because I just kind of feel like E6000 does a better job with glass. And because I hate waiting for glue to dry, I also use my hot glue so that I get an immediate hold. Just be extra careful that none of your glue drips down the inside of the glass. And here is the finished decoration and I loved setting it on my new table. The next DIY is hardly a DIY at all. All it is is this toothbrush holder that I got at the Dollar Tree and I just loved the shape of it. And I thought it would be a really pretty vase. And I also found these great greenery and floral bushes at the Dollar Tree. They're really stepping up their game and how nice they're making their florals these days. So I used two of the white flower bushes and two of the greenery bushes and I used my wire cutters to cut all the stems apart and I just put them all down in the toothbrush holder and it came out so stinking cute. And this DIY is just as easy, if not easier, than the last one. And it's using this really pretty jar that I got at the Dollar Tree. I loved the design on it, and I knew I would love to use it for something. So I thought about what my table was needing, and I decided, because the area I live in has a lot of mosquitoes in the summer, I need a citronella candle burning out there always. <laughs> and although I don't have a citronella candle yet, this little pillar candle from the Dollar Tree is going to work in its stead. And these pearls that are also from the Dollar Tree are going to be a vase filler to go around the candle. This of course would be a really, really cute indoor DIY too. And here's a look at my new outdoor table, all decorated. Here's hoping you have beautiful weather in your neck of the woods and I appreciate you stopping by to watch my DIYs 
I'll see you next time. Bye.